Hi, I'm Steph from Hofgist, and I just wanted to shoot a quick video today to show you a technique I did on this uh, card here. I was using the Hey Chick stamp set. I've been using it a lot today um, with watercoloring and stuff. It's such a fun set. Uh, these chickens are just so funny and you get a couple of uh, greetings and you can earn this stamp set for free with any $60 uh, purchase before taxes and shipping here in Canada. And it's just such a fun set. I love uh, using it. So I've been doing a lot of watercoloring and stuff and I came up with this uh, idea here for this card. I remembered a technique that I learned a few years ago called burnished vellum. Um, so what that is, is you push the vellum up uh, to create kind of a raised texture. So I know it's hard to see on this uh, video here, but uh, I assure you that I have made these chicks fatter <laughs> in real life. I've pushed up their tummy here so just I've accented this tummy and right here you can tell that it's a little bit whiter maybe in the video um, and I just wanted to show you how I did that so to do that you need a piece of vellum there we go I've already uh, stamped my chicks here and um, stamping on vellum you need to use stays on ink um, and the reason for that is that it won't smudge. So stays on, you can stamp on a whole lot of different surfaces. So that's really important when you're stamping on vellum. For the burnished vellum technique, um, you also need a stylus or blunt object. So you can tell here this has a round ball on the end and a foam mat. So to get started, so I've already went ahead and stamped my images here and you can tell on this chick here I've already done the technique. You can see in the video here that this part is whiter. So we're going to do a little bit more on the other chick. So you're going to flip it over to the back side. You're going to take your, take your blunt object here and you're just going to move in circular motions to accent the part that you want accented. So in this case, I want the bellies of the chickens to look fatter. So I'm going to accent that a little bit. And you're just going to move in circular motions. You're going to start relatively lightly. And as you push further into the vellum, it get uh, to give it some more give. You can push a little bit harder um, to get that even more raised texture. You just don't want to push too hard because you don't want to go through the vellum. Okay, so I think that's about done. So that's the back side again. So you flip it over and you can tell here in the video the white areas. That's raised. So you might not tell that it's raised, but it is raised. You can feel it in the video. Or I can feel it. <laughs> you might not see it in the video. Okay. So then I wanted to give the chickens some color. So I'll bring in this piece here. It's the same one. I just went ahead and did a little bit coloring first. So you can color on vellum. And the trick with that, again, is to do it from the back side. So I already went ahead and colored this one. So you're going to flip it over and we'll just finish coloring this chicken here. So for that, I used the Stampin' Write markers. And what colors did I use? Uh, Tangelo, Twist, and Crushed Curry. And I used my son laughing. I used um, the brush tip here. And I just messy. I just quickly filled this in. Accented the color where I wanted it. And then I came in with my other color. And just messily filled that in. I'm sorry if I'm shaking the camera. Okay. And I did it messy because oh, there's some shine there. So I didn't quite fill in everything. Um, but then I came back in uh, with the blender pen. So this just helps to smooth out all the lines. So 
and blend the colors. So I'm just going to go ahead and start blending, mixing those colors together and fill in some of those white spaces that I left blank. And when you're happy with the result, you go ahead and stop. And so the reason why you do it on the back is that when you flip it over to the front, it still won't smudge. If you put the marker, the color on the front, it would smudge, right? So that's why you want to do it on the back and it gives it more of a muted tone. So to mount this, um, and don't ask me how I know this. I might have tried it a few times. <laughs> um, went through a couple different samples before I came up with this one. But you're going to, um, now vellum is hard to glue because um, you don't want to see the adhesive through. So in order to not see any adhesive, the trick is to use a glue stick and white or vanilla paper. Okay, so I cut this the same size. Uh, this was five and a half by two and a half. So I cut myself a piece of white paper that is also five and a half by two and a half. And it's going to cover the back before I mounted it on the black. I first tried to do it on the black and you could see all the adhesive. So that was just a disaster. Okay. Um, oh, and then I tried it again. And when I did the glue stick, I put it onto the vellum and again, you can still see it. So then I remembered when I learned this years ago that you are to put the glue stick onto the back and you're going to cover the whole back. And this also helps that um, if you were to put it on to the vellum, um, because we colored it, you would be smudging the color. So you don't want to do that. So you cover the entire area with glue, glue stick. And then you're going to take your vellum, you're going to line it up, and stick it down. And so now your images won't smudge, you don't see the adhesive, and you have a piece ready. Oh, I did get a little ink there. Anyway. You do have your piece ready to mount onto a card. So from there, I just use regular glue and I glued a little mat here. So this mat, the black mat was five and a half by two and three quarters so that you get a little bit of a border on the top and the bottom. And I'll just bring in the finished card here again. Um, so I mounted it on a neutral card I wanted a little bit of an accent, so I used the um, the new honeycomb uh, dynamic embossing folder to give it that texture there. Um, a little metallic heart. Hey Chick is from the stamp set here. Okay, and then inside I stamped the chicken again and I did a little bit of watercoloring using um, our new watercolored pencils. And again I just quickly colored that and used the blender pen to get rid of all my um, pencil lines and to blend it quite nicely. And with the blender pen you're able to do it just on the regular paper. So I hope you've enjoyed this video today. Why not give the burnished vellum a try? It's fun and it adds a lot of nice uh, texture to a card. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.